Hey everybody, I'm Max Nell Grenade, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Challenge Runs. I tweaked, I'm gonna tweak, I should say, the volume of the game up just a little bit in this one. I feel like it was a little quiet. I only tweaked it up a little bit. If you, um, feel so inclined, uh, let me know if it's, uh, improvement or a detraction. It's a little hard for me to tell, because I play the game audio through my headset, but anyway... I'd love your input, so let's go ahead and jump into challenge runs here. Solar System is what we'll be tackling today. I've heard people complain about this run, so let's take a look here. Okay, so I have no eyes, so I assume tear effects are going to be pretty much useless for us. And we just start with the, uh, the flies. Alright, so... Um, we look to do damage with our orbitals. I can dig it. Black hearts, I can dig as well. Uh, the red fly does more damage, so if we can get that in there, it's going to be beneficial for us. Do the flies even... We can't even break poop, can we? Interesting. Not even possible without, like, a bomb. And that seems like a total waste of a bomb to use it on a poop. Um, can we... Nope. Can't break TNT, which is maybe better for me in that situation. All right, so the blue fly allows us to keep more distance, but the red fly will do more damage. Interesting, interesting. All right, managed to save my flies there. Uh, faith up? Sure. Maybe we'll get angel rooms, which actually might be pretty viable because devil rooms, a lot of devil rooms synergize with tears, so angel rooms could be good um, to, uh, you know, kind of get us. Oh, get that red fly in there, that sweet red fly. Uh, angel rooms could be good to get us a little more survivability, I would think. And that actually went down without a hitch there. Got a cube of meat. We're heading down to the next floor. We got one bomb. Why would I head down to the next floor yet? Um, let's use a bomb here and see if this is our secret room. Why not? Almost had to be, right? And a battery is completely and utterly useless for us. So that was a waste. But it could have had a nice item or some money or even some extra bombs in there. <clears throat> is it better to use your one bomb when you have it on a secret room? Even if like, even if I was 100%, is it better to use it there or to save it for like a tinted rock? It's a good argument to have. I'm not 100% sure either way. Uh, that was a good use there. And Guppy's head seems like a great pickup for us. Give us extra damage uh, on every room to help combat the, uh, the fact that we have to fight with our orbitals. I like this uh, pickup quite a bit for this challenge. And we just need to make sure we are diligent about using it every single time. Nice to get a room where we just get a charge without uh, using anything. So we will uh, pop down a bomb for this tinted rock here. I don't know if things like damage ups. I think damage ups would work with this work for us with uh, Guppy's head now as well. So it's a nice pickup in that regard as well, because damage ups did nothing for us prior to that pickup. I think so. Uh, where are our... It's hard to tell my actual blue fly apart from the ones that I create with Guppy's head. Which seems to be maybe a nice problem to have. I can see forever shows us this secret room immediately, which gives us plenty of money with v which with Vich is that what I was gonna say with Vich to visit the shop. <laughs> uh, no, really, huh? Really not the location of the second secret room. So then it's got to be like off this room. Yeah, yeah. Guppy? Nah. Don't don't even do it, flies. You're coming with me. Uh, we will go check out the shop with 31 cents. Heck yes, we will. <clears throat> and we'll buy the coin purse. Yeah, I was hoping it would give us this pill so we could see what it was. Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, we didn't manage to blow up that guy, though. Telepills. It's just a bit annoying. So we do have another room in addition to our shop, which I will go visit. Uh, we are going to buy... Our soul heart, though. Got another telepills and a range up. Range up does nothing for us, I think. Let's let's keep the faith to up tracked, and let's go visit. So we should be able to get a deal with the devil on this floor, I think, most likely. Uh, I'd rather have Guppy's head, I think, than ooh. Let's use this here and just see. No. All right. It was worth a shot. Lots of rocks. Um. Anarchist Cookbook. Sorry, it's not Book of Shadows. 
Uh, Guppy's head is better. Mm, the sun card is better, but we'll take telepills right before we leave. I think an uh, I am error room might be more valuable than the sun card, arguably. So we'll look for an I am error room, then come back. Monstro should be all acceptably easy, I think. Just need to kind of figure out where he's going to shoot so that we can get in there. Yeah, look at that red fly, man. Damages enemies like Cray. We did get to deal with the devil, so I don't know what Faith Up necessarily does. And I don't know if Brimstone works. So I'm actually going to take the Pact, because I think it gives us uh, damage up on the flies that we produce with Guppy's Head. I could be totally wrong about that, but it gave us two Soul Hearts anyway, so I don't feel horrible about it. Um, and we want... Uh, to take telepills, duh, and that didn't do anything, so we'll come down here and take the sun card with us. So the sun card gives us uh, the uh, world and compass effect, the map and compass effects for a floor, as well as uh, doing some damage to all the enemies and giving us full health. All the enemies in the room, I should say, not all enemies on the floor. Um, so it's a great uh, thing to have. Now, I mean, it gives us full health which is not huge when you have, uh, gives us full red health, I should say, which is not huge when you have just two red hearts. But um, we might gain HP in the future. And uh, it's something. It's worth like worth a heart for us, basically. Uh, maybe a heart and a half if we get all the way down. Oh, thank you, uh, Orbitals there. I appreciate it. We do have a, I didn't really make note of it, but we do have a full suite of Orbitals now. Uh, I need keys, so I'll do it. Mm, it's not really what I wanted. I don't really know what missing poster does. So we'll keep the sun card. Come on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, these guys I do kind of want to keep my distance from. You can't really get too close to them, and they are tanky, so this fight's kind of annoying. But not entirely unmanageable. Now you, I can actually get the uh, the red fly in on, I think. Yep. It goes much more quickly when you can do damage to enemies with the red fly. Just a much more powerful uh, familiar or orbital. I like this uh, solar system run, though. I'm enjoying it. Maybe should have left that battery in case we got a better space war item, but I didn't really think about it until I'd already flown over it. So... So this is one of the challenges that I could see being, uh, you know, difficult, problematic in terms of uh, finishing it without dying. Eh, we have so much health. Let's go in here and fight the Fallen, okay? Oh. Okay, managed to uh, take him down into second form here. Yeah, this is difficult. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if one of you could die, that'd be great. Perfect. Okay, so, I mean, that could have gone better. It also could have gone much worse. I don't know if Sacrificial Dagger... Yeah, it does replace one of the flies, which is nice, because Sacrificial Dagger does uh, damage to enemies. So, in addition to getting the red fly in there, when we get close enough to get the red fly, we'll also get some Sack Dag damage, which is nice, and also kind of rolls off the tongue, which I like. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, getting the hang of it. Um, I mean, enemies like the Fallen are going to be hard even when you don't have to fight this way. Oh, that was some dumb damage, though. Getting the hang of it, dumb damage. Never fails. Oh, I'm doing well. Stupidest damage you've ever seen in, in your life. That's just how kind of hubris goes, I think. Getting some more damage, not proud of it. Let's put a bomb down here. There are some good pills in our rotation. I like the idea of the faith up. Liberty cap mostly affects our tears, so that's not a, a big deal for us currently. It's not really a, a good get for us. We need like one more penny. Envy's kind of an annoying fight with this setup, I think. Oh, or or not? Maybe not. You know. Actually, very easy. I thought this was going to be difficult. It's the easiest shit ever. Ah, uh, strength card. Nah. And shoot the whoop is a no. Shoot the whoop's just bad. It really is. It does very little damage. Um, so, 
if I had to guess, I would say the secret room almost, almost has to be like here. Yep. Another battery. Um, let's check out the shop. Could always just donate. There's no donation machine, duh, because it's a seated run. So we'll take the soul heart and move along. Not too interested in the piggy bank. I don't think there's too many shop items we're really going to need that much moving forward. Uh, and we are moving forward. Here we go. <clears throat> it's nice and early in the morning. I got my uh, caffeine fix. I got some coffee in me. Got Curse of the Maze, which I'm not a fan of, but we should be okay. Oh, all right. Getting a little risky. A little, as I like to say, frisky risky with my dodges there, but we made it work. Health down, so this should be a health up now, so that's going to just cancel each other out for the most part, and I can see forever. Let's check out our secret room here. Key, we're not going to use the key immediately on that chest. I'd rather save it. Nice that we can get into our uh, curse room there without taking damage on the way out. We wouldn't have taken damage on the way in anyway because we could fly, but not taking damage on the way out is a nice little bonus. Yeah, Guppy's head. Uh, seems like I could pick up on this this uh, challenge for sure. That was dumb. Uh, dumb little bit of damage there. Not the worst though. Curse of the Maze, thank you for uh, messing with me as always. Alright, almost took some more damage there. I'm, I'm just charging a little too fast with the orbitals. Now, with this many bombs, I will kind of liberally use them to... Uh, Blow up any clusters of uh, mushrooms, probably, or skulls on the subsequent floors here. It's enough money for our shop to be worthwhile again, much to my surprise, actually, after having spent money on that. Uh, this is kind of a, another unnecessary risk dodge there. Um, after having spent so much money on the previous shop on that soul heart, I'm surprised to have enough. All right. Just use the distance orbitals. Don't get so close. You don't need to use Sacrificial Dagger. Guppy. Alright. Soul Heart's nice. Should still be able to find our second secret room here somewhere. Don't forget to use your uh, your Guppy's head there. That would be kind of dumb. Oh. Where are you? There we go. That's the way you do it. Okay. Still haven't found the shop. And there we go. Long room does contain the shop. Um, where do we use the sun card? I think on the last floor. Makes the most sense. Maybe on a difficult room on the last floor, so we also get the damage bonus. Okay. Thank you, Sacrificial Dagger. In the shop we find... Uh, I got so confused there. Okay, I'll go back to the shop. Oh, that was dumb. That was very dumb. Uh, Red Heart's in there, so I would love to find a blood bank in the arcade, but we'd like to find some money first. We have here in our shop. Magic Fingers, which I, I don't want. Portable Slot, which I don't want. I don't know what that pill is. So we'll take the Soul Heart. We're going to go and open up the arcade. And hope for a blood bank with all those uh, eternal hearts. Now, traveling back and forth in the arcade is going to be kind of annoying with uh, Curse of the Maze. But uh, that's all right. I will probably gamble for a few more keys as well. Don't do it, Curse of the Maze. Don't F with me. Thank you. All right. Full health. And perfect, that works. Uh, we'll just take that. Maybe we'll play down to like, um, play down to like ten cents. Looking for a key here. I don't want to spend all my money. And now we just blow them up, looking for a key as well. Perfect. I mean, now we're lacking in money a little bit, but I think on average you should expect to get five cents on a floor, so the key is more important. And Curse of Mage is making it hard for us to get to the boss here. Here we go. It's the hollow. 
the hollow shouldn't be too bad and as you can see is already not too bad um, considering you is easy to dodge basically and you can even oh yeah so that's the problem is when the uh, <laughs> bomb flies get involved and you get too close to them like me um, you can get yourself in some trouble but we should be okay we got hit but we're gonna get back to full health here just want to make sure we take you out with the blue fly perfect blue fly don't bother me I belong to somebody and an HP up alright um, no deal with the devil we got full HP so we'll be very willing to trade away whatever we've got uh, on this floor um, no I say to the nay we can fly so that matters not at all to us nice uh, some more flies we're being able to, yeah there see there's three cents I think our shop should be viable uh, being able to carry so many flies with us is helping us out quite a bit hmm I was trying to get my blue fly to attack there but it didn't work we're taking a lot of damage on this run but we're also dealing quite a bit and uh, I'm fairly confident the only fight I'm kinda worried about is actually the the culmination of this which I believe if I'm not mistaken, it may just be mom, but I think it's the mom's heart fight. I don't want cursed skull, um, which could, which is kind of bullet helly, and that's you know difficult to get in close. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. That's kind of good for bonies actually, because we don't have to be in direct line with them here. You know, when you're when you're firing tears, you have to kind of be on a direct line with the bonies, which is when they also fire at you. So. Okay, perfect. Enough money to make the shop worthwhile, so we'll go in here immediately. Blank card, sun card. I don't think so. I think, I think Guppy's head is better. I mean, that could be way wrong, because blank card has some crazy synergies, but... And I mean, it's pretty good with Sun Card. Okay, good to know that full health exists. That was dumb. Real dumb damage. I, I'm just being a little careless. And it's because I do have a decent kind of thing here going with Guppy's head. And we've got so much health. So it makes me very careless when I have so much HP, I think. Uh, which is not the way you should play the game. As, I, as I'm often quoting, please do as I say, not as I do. If you could fire um, over there or not I'll just come up and kill you I was waiting for it to fire so I felt safer but um, yeah let's just uh, let's go headless horseman okay oh all right headless horseman fine maybe we actually use the Sun card on the mom fight mom's heart fight itself um, just to like give us an extra little damage boost or maybe we use it to get there faster I don't know which is better actually okay mmm the pony is not something we want or need what do we got in here Krampus okay um, I don't know if um, oh, what would I take I would probably take Krampus's head over a uh, lump of coal for sure we did in fact get Krampus's head and I'm gonna roll with it I think it's better just based on the fact that we can finish the boss fight so much more easily yeah we do have to go down to uh, it looks like utero slash the womb so I won't use the Sun card yet we'll look to use Krampus's head on rooms that'll be difficult to take out with um, yeah let's do this because this will allow us to get in there hopefully off, also, off chance that it gives us another blood bag. But I'd prefer just to get in that room. Perfect. What we got in here? Eh. Definitely not worth it. That's okay. This is a good kind of test of our strength, I think. Test your might. What do you got for me? Okay. That's going to be the most annoying part of this. And actually, let's just... I don't want to. I don't want to mess with you. Okay. Yeah, if you could, uh, oh. Okay. 
Jump up here. Get in my sacrificial dagger window, please. Oh. This is bad. This is not going great, I'll tell you that much. The flies that he makes. There you go. Just jump on your own flies. I do appreciate it very much, sir. Yeah. Okay. Halfway done. Monstro's an annoying fight. Turns out. Alright, almost done. Don't make any more flies, please. Thank you. And we got Chubb? No, nobody. Okay. Uh, took some damage there, and I don't like it, but we came out on the other side of it. Um, should I have saved Krampus' head for the monster portion of that fight? I wouldn't have predicted it was as hard as it was, and I think I took some dumb damage, so no, probably even in the future, I don't think I would. But, uh, it's worth talking about a little bit. Um, oh, I saw a tinted rock there at the last second. Awesome. Alright. We'll open you. It's able, which is nothing really that I care about. But we will uh, blow this up. And that's the goat hoof, which also is meaningless to me. Blow those up, please. Oh, nothing, huh? All right, well, we got a golden key, so now I can open up any golden chests that I do come across. And do it pretty much guilt-free. Uh, just kind of decided to do that on a whim. I don't know if it was necessary, but th those guys are kind of annoying to get close to with the, uh, the orbitals as they kind of bounce similarly here but these die a little bit faster I think so a little bit less concerning the smart money is on uh, using your blue fly but it just takes a little bit longer and I'm a little bit impatient also um, I'm a little bit country and she's a little bit rock and roll mm, interesting you don't say huh Range up, meaningless. Shop is a no-brainer when you have the golden key. We'll take theirs options. We've got some more stuff ahead of us. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Put a couple of bombs down here. Open for some soul heart sweetness. Did, in fact, get some soul heart sweetness. I like that very much. There we go. Thank you for blowing up just outside of the range of killing me. And, uh, yeah, let's go fight the boss. Who we got? Mom. We wait for just a second. And we do that. That's perfect. And the fight's over. Look at that. And we're gonna go... We're gonna take the Polaroid. Um... No. I don't want Headless Baby. I'd rather have the chance, rather than have this baby, I'd rather have the chance to get an angel deal item on this floor. But I don't think it's really going to happen. Um, mm -mm -mm. Man, I didn't even notice. I was ri Okay, that was dumb. That was even worse. Tried to push it way too late. Uh, I didn't even notice. We were really close to getting uh, boss rush mode, but didn't get it because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to it. It wouldn't have really matter. We wouldn't have gone through with boss rush, I don't think. We're not really that strong. I don't really want to be, even if, I, I'm not even 100% sure that boss rush opens when you're on a challenge like this. But even if it does, uh, I don't want to be fighting boss rush with these orbitals. That seems uh, rather insane if you can choose not to. Alright, lumps actually aren't bad with this. Oh. Uh, as I was saying, they're not bad, even though I got hit immediately after that. That's the way it goes, right? I should be using uh, Krampus' head much more often than I am, uh, truth be told. But what are you going to do? Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. All right. Um... Can I get all three of those? Yeah. Didn't really do much for me. Let's check here for a secret room. It is indeed. 
and it has a chest, which gives me back my bomb, a key, and a few cents, which uh, all in all is not really going to matter. Got five keys though, so I shouldn't feel too hesitant about opening up chests of any kind here, I don't think. Mm, I was really hoping to kill you immediately there. Didn't work out for me. Okay. Still managed to not take damage in this room. Almost spoke too soon there. Keeping an eye out for tinted rocks. No. Nah, not going to open a regular chest there, I don't think. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks. Still see any. And this is Euro 1, right? Yes, yeah, so we're going to use the sun card on the next floor. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is good. This is a hard enough room to warrant the Krampus' head use. Did it rocks? No? No, doesn't look like it. That was dumb. Real dumb. Uh, I'll take Bloody Penny. I don't know if Faith Up has done anything for us. We haven't got an angel deal. Maybe it does increase uh, devil deals as well. I'm not really sure how that functions. Full health is good. Hmm. That's a weird one. Man, I wish I could take both. Um, no enemies in there, huh? All right, this will be okay, I think. We can fly, so we can dodge a little more effectively on this room. The ones that shoot are annoying me. These little ones don't shoot, so I should seek to take them out more quickly, maybe. Okay. All right, well, I was really... Happy about my not taking damage so far on that floor, but then I just went ahead and took damage anyway, so. Alright, Loki is dead. And the blood clot is. Mm, blood clot's what? Damage and range? Let's take the HP. It's more important for us. Ah, really hoping for uh, Soul Hearts there. <laughs> Game. I don't know why you couldn't uh, see fit to give me some of those. All right, so our main concern, obviously, is our dwindling HP. If we could get some more soul hearts, I would be very happy. Uh, we are going to use the sun card now, I think, to see what we can see on this floor. Um, we'll go up this way because I do want to check out the arcade. Let's just stay away from the gurgling. Don't feel the need to get in there with your red fly or your sacrificial dagger when you when there's it's just not necessary how am I feeling about our chances uh, just okay not great um, I really should not have picked up this eternal heart because there's an arcade uh, that was dumb it was very dumb I think we play this we don't play the blood bank because we'll lose the eternal heart does it it doesn't even mean anything to us does it let's play the blood bank screw it okay um i should be more careful with my hp though soul hearts are really what i'm looking for Worth the uh, the price of investment just right there. I can see forever will give us entrance to the. Uh, all right, well. I can see forever will give us entrance to. Interesting. The second secret room, if we stumble across it, which I don't see how we could on the way to the boss, but that's okay. Oh, don't do it. Thank you. For not doing it. Uh, no tinted rocks. I'm getting a little scared. I'm just going to use Krampus' head there because we will get another charge before we visit the boss here in that room. Scared me. Uh, we will hopefully get another charge here at least. Hmm. Yeah, this is a uh, annoying room. A couple of monstros. 
But uh, not anything we can't handle, I don't think. Just gotta be careful. Just get the... Be pixel perfect with your uh, your attacks here. And you can take him down quickly. Okay. We did lose our uh, soul heart protection there. Man, if you could just be so kind as to give me like a two soul heart tinted rock, I would be so damn happy. Okay, this is a lump room, which lump rooms are annoying, but definitely not by any stretch of the imagination impossible or even improbable that we come out of this uh, without taking damage. Oh, don't. I just got to get the orbital at the right timing. Yeah, go away. Where are you coming up at? Okay. Perfect. Second secret room. A black heart. It, it honestly might be good enough. Uh, is there anything else we want to like kind of take with us? Is there anything else I need to do on this floor? Blow up or use or find? We've got like one play here. A dime's okay, whatever. Um, hmm. Yep, let's go do it. Let's let's do the fight. We can take six hits of damage. So on the seventh hit, we die. We want to make sure we do as much damage as possible with Krampus's head here, and then we'll put down explosive diarrhea. So we do like this. And then we just are careful here. And then we do like... Okay, I hit myself there. Not proud of that. But now, we just uh, focus on tight dodges. Mom's going to damage her own uh, nubs here, which I do appreciate very much, Mom. Thank you. Thank you for the Christmas gift. Now we're keeping, we're just dodging. You shoot your own nubs, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, got hit. Did the kind of like a counter dodge there. I'm not sure why I did that. Okay, that's a good bit of damage there. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get it. No, 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 no. Don't dodge too fast. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Ah, sorry for the lack of commentary there at the end. I was a little tense in that fight. But we finished it. That is another challenge under our belt. Six for six solar system challenge done. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment. If you want to see more videos when they come out, please subscribe. I'm Accidental Grenade. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching.